eastern parts of North and South Carolina contains numerous oval-shaped depressions all aligned in a northwest to southeast direction called Carolina Bays. Their sizes vary from 100 feet long to almost 5 miles long. No one, not even scientists, have a straight answer on this geological or maybe astronomical mystery. Some of the Carolina Bays contain lakes, swamps, and many others are just sandy ovals in a field. The highest part of the rim of these depressions are always on the southeast. So what are the origins of these mysterious oval depressions dotted all over the North Carolina and South Carolina landscape? Were these crater-like structures caused by an exploding comet? Or were there geological and atmospheric processes at work? The Carolina Bays can be found in this area right here, anywhere from Maryland to Florida. However, they are mostly concentrated in this area of North Carolina, mainly in Bladen and Cumberland counties. Here's a LIDAR elevation image showing the numerous Carolina Bays crater-like structures all over Robeson County, North Carolina. This is about 300 square miles. The majority of the Carolina Bays have been drained and filled in to be used for farming. As you can see right here, you can see the remnants of the Carolina Bays in many of the farmers' fields. You'll drive right by them and won't even know that they're there. All you'll see is a bunch of sand in a field. The Carolina Bays can easily be seen with Google Maps. Okay, this is the uh, Bladen County and Cumberland County area. Okay, we can look over here. You can see some of them have lakes, some of them don't. Some of them have swamps. But most of them are filled in in farmers' fields, just like this one right here. See, they're all filled in. You won't even notice they're there. You'll drive right by them. However, the ones you will notice are the lakes that you will go to. So you can see White Lake right here. That's a Carolina Bay. Um, it's about, probably about 3,000 feet long, but it's a noticeable one. Here's one right there. There's a field and there's a lake. And you can see they're all over the place, all over the place. The biggest one right here is Lake Waccamaw. A clip on this lake will be available later in the video. The lake is about five miles long and three miles wide. Here are the general characteristics of the Carolina Bays. Number one, they can be anywhere from 100 feet long to 5 miles long. Number two, they are shallow depressions from anywhere from 6 inches deep to 30 feet deep. Their rims, however, are the highest on the southeast part of the bays, and they vary from anywhere from 0 to 25 feet. Earlier I stated the Carolina Bays are oriented towards the northwest and southeast. However, this is the case in North Carolina. However, the farther south you go into Georgia or into Florida, they are oriented towards the north. So they are generally oriented towards the Great Lakes, particularly around Michigan, southern Michigan, northern Ohio. 97% of the Carolina Bays are eroded, drained, and filled in by farmers over time. All you can see is remnants of them. Similar structures have been found in Nebraska, and they are also oriented towards the Great Lakes. Number seven, the width to length ratio is 0 0.6. Number eight, the Carolina Bays are named after bay trees that grow around their rims. Now there are two primary theories on how the Carolina Bays were formed. One of the proposed theories is that a comet either exploded or hit the ice shield somewhere in Michigan or Northern Ohio. That's one of the theories, or a comet exploded over the area which might explain why all the Carolina Bays are oriented towards the Great Lakes. This event may have happened between 10,000 to 15,000 years ago. The second theory proposed is that these Carolina Bays were formed by retreating glaciers. As a glacier retreats, it forms pools of water at the base and the westerly winds circulate around the bodies of water while depositing the sand on the southeastern shore. Here's a map showing the direction of where the Carolina Bays are oriented towards. They're oriented towards Michigan and the Great Lakes region. The possibility that the Carolina Bays were formed by an impact from an exploding comet remains very high. However, nobody knows for sure still. Here is a video that I shot at the southeast end of Lake Waccamaw. As you can see, there's a you can see the rim right here. It's about anywhere from five feet to eight feet tall in some areas. You can see the rim right here. It's clearly a raised rim. All the sand is a trail that goes around the lake. 
Bear in mind, there are alligators here, so we gotta be careful. Right here, you can see the top of the rim of the Carolina Bay of Lake Waccamaw. Let's go to the Tudor Bridge. Alligators may live here. We can be careful. Oh my gosh, they're scary. That's pretty cool. 